Hey everybody, today I've got the Microman Impact Man box set. This was put out by Takara in 1999 as part of the Microman revival. And it has uh, four sections. It's got the red action figure, two cats, and the hurricane bird. And you can mix and match them in any combination you desire. This is the one that they recommend, so I will show it to you. But just keep in mind, you can do anything you want with these figures. Um, anyway, this box is enormous. It's well over two feet long. Um, absolutely huge. Let me see if I get a size comparison for you, but it is huge. You can see how big it is compared to uh, Supreme Scream here. So when you open the set up, you can see it comes in one of these plastic trays. And you've got all the goodies laid out in their own little individual pockets. Now of course it's almost impossible to get this stuff back in here in the right way, but you can see it also comes with these uh, like game card things, I guess. Um, energy card, I don't know. Some kind of game. Something going on there. But that's not something I'm particularly interested in. You can see it also comes with little uh, missile projectiles. There's some bullets for some of the other things. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you all the different individual pieces of this at a time so that they can all get their own love. But as you can see, with all these different pieces to swap around, Microman definitely, you know, had the combination thing going on. That was its gimmick. And, you know, it's, it's pretty fun as long as you've got an imagina imagination. Um, each bot, each of the main pieces at least, comes with an instruction sheet showing you some of the basic uh, features that you can do. And then it also will have a combination suggestion for how you can put it together. And you can see some of those are pretty cool. Like so. And then it also comes with a catalog which has all kinds of different Micro Men, um, some of the larger size ones. DX01 is the guy that's in this. Various vehicles, all kinds of, you know, accessories. You can imagine, if you have enough of these, you can do almost anything you want with this. All kinds of stuff. 1999, Takara. Oh, look at those tape changers. I never even noticed that before. That's pretty cool. I have to hunt those down. All right, well, anyway, so enough about that. Let's take a look at some of the individual pieces of this set. So before we look at the figures, let's take a look at some of the accessories. Now, he comes with plenty of weapons. You can see here he's got a gun, and actually there's two of these that are identical. Um, they both fire a little missile, which plugs right into the front. It's got a little switch on the bottom, and it fires really, really good. Let's see here. There you go. Plenty of spring power. It also has a sweet claw. Again, it's got a little hinge joint attached to the magnetic ball so that you can do what you want to with it. The claw will open and close. It's got sort of the thumb piece, and then the finger pieces are attached. But, uh, yeah, pretty sweet little claw weapon there. It has uh, this big old sword, sort of a scimitar kind of thing going on. Again, swivel here. But this one does have actually uh, where you can swivel this down, which makes it more of a, a gun, I guess, or a rifle. I don't know. Either way, it gives you another option. And, of course, it's got some beautiful, beautiful chrome there. Big old rail gun. This one's the simplest. It doesn't actually move or change or fire anything or really do much of anything at all except kind of look cool. Um, it also has this grappling grappling piece, which again, hinge on the magnetic ball. One disappointment with this, it may just be me, but I can't get this, I can't get the missile to lock in. So it'll still fire as you release it, but it doesn't actually lock in through the mechanism. So. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, so to start off with, 
we have, in my opinion, the best piece in the box, which is the Hurricane Bird. Um, he's the only one I really know the individual name to. And in my opinion, he is simply gorgeous. Um, the green translucent plastic that they use on him, along with the sort of maroon and the silver and all the shininess, it just, man, it just looks tremendous. Um, and in terms of overall design, you can actually see a little bit of a sort of a Dark of the Moon laser beak thing going on a little bit. But anyway, so um, he has a little seat kind of area with some handlebars with the idea that a microman can ride him um, like a vehicle. That's his one flaw. He has this sort of floppy neck joint thing, um, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it, it kind of goes along with the territory with these microman figures. Um, they have two socket designs. There's basically these, which is just a normal plastic socket for the ball. And then they have the magnetic sockets, which are far superior, and I don't understand why they didn't use a magnetic socket for the head. But, you know, as you can see, in some positions he's okay, but you turn him at all and he starts to get a little floppy. Um, anyway, so, uh, details abound on this guy. Um, you know, you can see the, you can see the wings, um, you know, the head design, um, the neck, again with the beautiful translucent plastic. Uh, you can see the talons. In terms of articulation, everything on this guy moves. Um, you can rotate these these uh, leg blocks any way you want. You can rotate the wings any way you want because of the, the joint design. Um, these wings do articulate forward and back. The head, which I'll just take off, makes it a little easier. The head actually does have a jaw, just really difficult to open, but you can open his jaw. Um, and then the head rotates up and down here. It also has a hinge here, and then, of course, it has the socket allowing universal movement. Um, the legs are fantastic. Um, you know, again, you have the ball here. It actually has a hinge at the ball joint there, and then it has a double hinge. I don't know if you can tell, but this, so this green piece will show you. See how that moves independently? That's because of the second hinge. The claws rotate, and then each claw is individually articulated in two places. Same thing with the little thumb here. So they make great hands, as you can imagine, for the combined mode robot, if you should choose to use it. Um, at the back, again, these blocks here, you can see, are just fantastic for customization because they have so many different magnetic sockets on it so you can you can mix and match this guy in an infinite number of ways um, you know and and by itself if you actually take off all these wing pieces the central core body doesn't look anything bird like in any way it really just looks like a little hover cycle so if any one of these pieces doesn't suit your aesthetic taste or whatever, I almost guarantee you that you can find a way to put this guy together that you will like. Um, I'm mainly going to try to show you the the uh, sort of textbook versions, the ones that are in the instructions, so that, whoops, got them backwards, so that you can see what they kind of intended, but uh, yeah, just keep in mind through the whole thing that you can swap them out in any way that you want. Um, and that's one of the cool features. It's what you're supposed to do with these guys. So there you go. That's the awesome Hurricane Bird. Now we'll take a look at some other pieces of this box set.